Today on Rift Speeds and Gear, we check out the all new Metal EBX Easy Base Expansion Pack from Toon Track. For many years now, Toon Track has taken the month of November and turned it into Metal Month, giving us metalheads all sorts of sonic goodies to make the metal. And this year is no exception. Last week, we had the Will Putney drums. This week, we are going to have the all new Metal EBX expansion pack to the Easy Bass plugin, which was already awesome, but now they've kind of tuned it up and they have added a metal specific MIDI bass to that plugin. And what we are gonna do today is we are going to check out three different bass tones within the new EBX Easy Bass Metal Expansion Pack. And I'm gonna show you how they fit and not fit in the context of a mix, a little, a little short tune, which goes like this. So I am in Logic Pro X and I have three different bass tones that we're gonna be working with today. So first I have a, I would call control. This is the EBX metal expansion pack, but this is using a clean DI tone with a pick. And I am then creating the bass tone using an instance of Microtubes B7K Ultra plugin from Neural DSP. And this is just uh, something that would be typical if I had a regular base DI and was processing it. This is the control. Next, I am using totally in the box, easy base. I'm using a, the I was started with the Gent style pick preset. It's dirty, it's uh, kind of clanky and it sounds really, really nice. And then third, last but not least, I'm using a clean finger style metal base preset. Think of like a Iron Maiden style, Steve Harris kind of sound, right? Rounder, less pick attack. And we're going to examine how each one of these sounds within the context of a mix. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through and play them. So, Let's let's go on over in the box tones, no external plugins for our tone generation. This is the gent style pick. This is what I started with anyway. I tweaked it a little bit. I'm gonna play play you the mix. See, I like the clankiness of that one. Let's move to the fingers. This is where I think you'll notice some changes. So playing with fingers, you're gonna get a rounder tone. You're gonna get some pokiness from the individual notes because you know, a human, two human fingers cannot produce as consistent of a bass note as a pick because you know, their flesh, their flesh and bone. I think you'll notice on the low end, it's pretty consistent. And then you get to that second half of the tune and it gets pretty, pretty pokey. I'm processing all of these bass tones the same. The compression is the same. Everything is the same. 
but it's just interesting, I think, to hear the difference in easy fingers, as I call it. Here we go. Pretty different. Um, it's thuddier, but there is still some attack. There is still some clinkiness, but it is a much rounder bass tone. And depending on the actual tune, I would absolutely prefer this over a picked tone myself. Now for this context, I'm not sure which one I like more because I think I like the fingers on the low, the first half, the low side, the more chuggy, Part, but I think I like the pick on the second half. And you could do that because this is mini bass. So you could use two instances of easy bass and still get the sound that you really want. So let's go ahead and mess with these in solo. Let's go back to the DI, DI with the dark glass. It's pretty good. There's a lot of drive. It's dirtier. The fingers is clearly cleaner. Now, all in the box, I think even sounds better, in my opinion. Let's go back to this one. We're going to solo it out. I like that one better than the DI going into external processing. I'm not sure if I like the fingers more than the pick. Notice how much top end I am boosting with the amp and the instrument itself. I'm sucking out a lot of the low end because I just don't need it because with fingers, you're adding so much low end and low mids with with your flesh but i love the sound And there you have it, three different tones in the metal context using the new metal EBX from Easy Bass and Tune Track. This is all a personal preference. However, I think it's really cool that in the scope of the metal thing, the finger pick thing is still there because of course there's lots of dudes that do finger picking in metal and I just think it sounds really good. And it's something that I never considered personally for my own stuff but now I definitely will. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me, 
help you, and then in turn, you get more stuff to watch. And also, I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff, there's all sorts of links to all sorts of things, so consider uh, checking that out as well, if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you. <laughs>